Arcade Dynamite, and today we're going to be talking about a surprise update over in Zombies, six mini Easter eggs, and even more. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because we're very close to 100,000 subscribers here on the main channel. Really appreciate it. Also, drop a like and turn notifications on and stay up to date with everything going on in Modern Warfare 2, as well as any other Call of Duty as well. Now, don't forget about the Juggernaut beanies available over on Amazon. They were put together by a hardcore community member known as Perk Lemonade, and they're also now available with the slash price. They're originally on eBay, but are now over on Amazon for an even better price and it's great to kind of keep that zombies mood going even though we're about to go on a hiatus with the mode for the next possibly year and a half now we also have a brand new ar available in vanguard which you can unlock in zombies for free if you don't want to do the unlock challenge over in multiplayer this is the bp50 also known as the f2000 an ar that we had in the original mono for 2009 so it's poetic that they're adding this weapon in now considering mw2 2022 is also just around the corner a couple of weeks away so the unlock challenge is to get an extermination medal just one which requires you to get 25 rapid kills using an assault rifle. There's an easy strat for that, and Buddy Perka actually went ahead and showed me how to do this. Go to the comms room here in Shidonuma, and just make sure you have at least tier 2 ring of fire to ensure that every bullet that you shoot out of your AR comes from your stock and not your regular magazine, so that you have classic ring of fire from Cold War. So as the zombies spawn in, you want to make sure that 25 respond in almost at the same time, which means go to maybe round 9, the earliest. You could possibly do it on 8, but... I I know most people out there probably do this on like round 11 or something. So just stand at the back of this room, pop ring, use the AR, and boom, you get 25 kills in a very rapid succession, which will instantly unlock the BP-50, and it'll give you that extermination medal, which is required to unlock the brand new DLC weapon. But now when it comes to the surprise update that I don't think anybody out there really expected for zombies, here for Season 5 Reloaded, we have six mini Easter eggs, three on Shinonuma and three over on the Archon. Each of these mini quests does require you to use a different weapon. It's either going to be an AR, an SMG, or a shotgun. There is no egg whatsoever for any other weapon classes, such as the LMG, sniper, pistol. Don't worry about that. So on Shinonuma, you can do this right after the first dog round. The first dog round will either be on round 5 or round 6, but for the Archon, you'll be able to start this on either round 6 or round 7. It's going to be one of those two rounds after the dog round on Shinonuma or round 6 or 7 on the Archon. You'll see one zombie in the minimap that just isn't moving, and it'll probably be far away from where you're at and where the normal zombie spawns will be, and it'll always be in one of three locations. So it'll be three locations on Shinonuma and three over on the Archon. So on Shinonuma, one of the locations which requires you to use an assault rifle will be near the comm room exterior right over here. It's a sneaky zombie sitting right there by the tree and he'll actually peek out. He does one animation where he'll hide behind the tree or then peek out. It'll be one of those two animations. What you want to do is use an AR in this location and just shoot at that zombie and boom, it'll then teleport you into this little mini game where the orb from the escort objective that we remember from Dura on Fung, Eternal Maledicta, this head will just be sitting here and it'll have a health bar. You want to deplete the health bar as fast as you can before that timer runs out. Now, something worth pointing out, though, is that sometimes when you do this mini game, you might see blue orb spawn as well right by the head. You want to make sure you shoot those blue orbs as fast as you can, then get back to shooting the head. To do this in the easiest way possible, make sure you have tier 2 ring of fire so that every time you shoot a bullet, the actual bullet comes from your stock and not your regular mag. That allows you to do things really quickly. If you see any red orb spawn, avoid those at all costs. Upon destroying that head, and once the health bar is depleted, the head will then move over a little bit close to you, and zombies can start hitting you again, because keep in mind, when you're in that minigame, no zombie can hit you, thank god. The head will just evaporate, and it'll give you a bunch of points and a free pack-a-punch weapon. It'll always be a tier 1 pack-a-punch weapon, which is helpful if you do this on the earliest round possible. Now, something really important is that you can't get too close to that zombie, or else it'll disappear. Notice how the locations for these zombies is very particular, so so the one for the AR is probably the farthest one away. The one for the SMG is kind of close. The one for the shotgun is very close to make sure you have enough range and power with the weapon you're using to actually hit the zombie. So if you get too close to that zombie, he'll just disappear and he'll respawn during the next round guaranteed. But if you shoot the zombie successfully and you fail the little head mini game, it'll be done for the rest of that game. You can no longer repeat that Easter egg for the remainder of that match. You have to restart. If you also complete the Easter egg like I just did, you also can't repeat this in a single match. You got to restart the try again and maybe get a different spawn but for another spawn with this little mini game we have
have the SMG one located in the fishing hut exterior right here, as you can see. Don't get too close, but shoot it with an SMG. It could be anyone. does not have to be pack punched at all. It'll throw you into the minigame. Destroy that head, and if the orbs spawn in, make sure to shoot the blue ones as fast as you can. Don't let the red ones, and once you do that, boom, the head will evaporate, and it'll give you a bunch of points and a free pack a punched weapon. Now, realistically, you could just leave the zombie there as long as you want. I mean, you wouldn't really want a tier 1 pack a punched weapon on a high round, so this is probably something you're always going to do on a lower round anyway, but realistically, if you just save this easter egg for like round 20 or something, the sneaky zombie will always be in one of those three locations. But for the last location on Shinonuma, we have the shotgun one, located on the other side of the comm room exterior, similar to where the assault rifle one was, but on the other side. So this one's a bit closer. You want to peek at that zombie right there, wait till he looks at you, and then hit him with that shotgun. Does not have to be a headshot. It could just be any shot, any type of damage from that weapon that's correct can just spawn you into that mini game. So boom, now you're in the mini game. Shoot that head again, and this one's probably a little bit easier because a shotgun I think does a lot of damage, especially if you have it pack a punch or if you have your ring of fire out. You don't necessarily need ring of fire or pack a punch, but it's highly recommended to have that. And once you do that, boom, it'll evaporate, get a bunch of points, and a free pack a punched weapon. Now also remember the person that shoots that sneaky zombie behind the tree or wherever he is on the map is the person that gets teleported into the head mini game. The teammate cannot assist you in shooting the head to do any damage. They'll just get zero damage whenever they try helping you. And they're also blocked off by that little purple rune as you can see. So the person has plenty of space to do the mini game on their own and it is a solo experience. So whether you do it on solo or co-op, it's almost the same outcome. But now when it comes to the Archon. So as we did on Shinonuma, we activated the Rampage Inducer to burn through the first couple of rounds as fast as possible to get to these Easter eggs. But you don't have to do that. You could take your time and you can burn through the first couple of rounds at your own pace. But the first location for a sneaky zombie here on this map is right here in the East Springs. And this is the location that requires you to use an SMG. And this one is very simple. Again, if you don't spawn in with an SMG, there's also an SMG wall by just nearby, so it's not that hard. And the cool thing too is that if you wait till like round seven or eight, sometimes the SMG wall by nearby is also blue, which means when you buy it for 4,000, it'll have tier one pack a punch. But what you wanna do here over at the East Spring is look for that zombie peeking right there by that palm tree. That's the SMG one. He's not too far from you, so shoot him once, it'll throw you into the mini game, and same rules apply as Shinonuma. Destroy the head as fast as you can, but also watch out for those orbs. If you see blue ones, destroy them as quickly as you can. If you see red ones, avoid them at all costs. Didn't really see orbs too much on Shinonuma at all, to be honest with you, but it's completely random for everybody out there doing this. You never know when those orbs are going to appear. It's just an extra layer to make things harder, but you never know when that extra layer is going to pop up. And once you're done with that, boom, you're all good. But for the AR spawn now, it's over here at the East Spring as well. Just behind the SMG spawn, there's a zombie that could peek around the corner of that rock there in the distance. Make sure you at least pack your weapon once. You don't have to, but it's recommend it do more damage on that head or at least have tier two ring of fire so you can shoot as much as you can without reloading go ahead and do that and boom there are some free points and a free pack a punch weapon yet again but now when it comes to the final spawn here in the archon it's the zombie that requires you to use a shotgun located right over here by quick revive very easy to get to you have to spend some points to obviously get to this area of the map so make sure you guys save your money as much as you can when the game first starts shoot that zombie right there with the shotgun don't step too close to it though or else it'll disappear don't forget that and then once you get into the mini game i think with the shotgun and it's easy to kind of burn through that head health and then also take out those orbs if you do see any. But that is it. You will then get a bunch of points and a free pack a punch weapon. If anything, though, this Easter egg makes more sense for the Archon considering you have to sacrifice a pack a punch weapon during one of the steps of the Easter egg on this map. It's cool to do on Shinonuma as well, at least for the points. But it is crazy to see the Treyarch is adding something to our round base maps, even though the life cycle of Vanguard is practically over. But I've seen some jokes over on Twitter that it's just Treyarch taking a jab at Infinity Ward for not having a classic minimap in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, because the minimap is pretty important for this new Easter egg. You have to see where that zombie is. I mean, you can kind of eyeball it and look around for him, but using the minimap will exactly tell you what part of the map the secret zombie is on, and it'll show you what you gotta do. It'll tell you what weapon you have to use. So, it could be a jab, or it's just coincidental that they decided to add this in right after the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer beta ended, but you never know. Let me know what you think of that down below in the comments. But I do want to debunk something that I did see some comments about over online. This is not a super Easter egg by any means. You do not have to have either Shinonuma or the Archon's Easter eggs done in order to get access to the side Easter egg. What I was thinking at first is that upon doing the Easter egg on Shinonuma, it'll then allow you to see the sneaky zombie spawn in after the first dog round or on the Archon. Do the boss fight and then the next game you play, you'll see a sneaky zombie spawn in after, what, round six or seven. But no, none of those main Easter eggs are connected in any way to this new side egg that was added to both maps. Just to debunk that real quickly for those out there that thought this could have been a super Easter egg. Now, 
Now, I also have done all six of these and didn't get anything special for doing that. It's just a side Easter egg, guys. It's not anything crazy like this cross progression type of quest. It's something simple that they just added in for fun, which I'm all for. But last and definitely not least, also an update to the Dark Ether Camel Grind here in Vanguard Zombies. Another update that was added in the mid-season update is that for the reptilian section of our camels here, instead of needing 10 rapid kills, you now only need 5. So that's definitely a nice step in the right direction for those out there that maybe wanted to unlock Dark Ether, but maybe those rapid kills were a bit frustrating. I know there are some other complaints about this camel grind as well, but don't forget, these camels won't transfer over into Warzone 2, but if you do plan on playing Warzone 1 in the future, or even Vanguard, then maybe you still want to do these camels before Mono Warfare 2 comes out. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the surprise update over in Vanguard Zombies with six mini Easter eggs across Shironuma and the Archon? Just our round-based experiences. If anything else does get found, I'll keep you guys posted in a separate video of course but it's nice to make another zombies video again because we know we're not gonna have much zombies content to go for the next year but it was cool to just sit back and enjoy a nice little easter egg hunt here in vanguard really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody